Let me know sir, I will see my screen. What is our last topic? It was about uh, power pivot. So we have completed discussing power uh, query related uh, topics. Their power query works as a ETL tool, uh, extract, transform, and load. And we can perform all the transformation at row level, column level, multiple things we can achieve using power query. And we have started discussing about power pivot. And power pivot contains two important components. One is data view and other one is model view. So we have seen uh, what data view contains. So as soon as we load our data to power query, and as soon as we close and apply, uh, as we choose that option, close and apply, that will load data to power pivot. And that loaded data will be visible as part of data view. And if there are any relations available among the loaded data, then that relations will be detected and shown as part of model view. And today we'll discuss about model view part. Okay. So I remember we have already discussed about all these relations, one to one, one to many, many to one, and many to many, as part of our earlier discussions. Uh, I have told you, right, like class six or seven. You can go through the regarding six or seven to understand these concepts. But anyway, as the current context is about uh, model view, then we are uh, as we are going to discuss about uh, these relations one more time. Okay. So now. This what is one to one relation? In power BI. What is one to one relation? The key column from two different sources will have only one to one reference. It is like one person can contain how many passports? One. One. One person can contain how many other numbers? One. And what about part numbers? One. So what kind of relation between person and other? Person and passport, person and other. One to one. One to person one. And span. This is all falls under one to one relation. Right? All this is also known. And we have seen a popular example like employee and department. So how many, one employee can work as part of how many departments? One department. Employee department. Relation is one to. And one department can contain how many employees? Only one employee or more than one employee? More than. So that is from department to employee, it is like one to many. Here, here. One employee can work as part of one department. That's why. From employee to department, relation is one to one. Cardinality we used to call the exact term in in the context of Power BI is cardinality. Cardinality. So it is one to one cardinality from employee to department. From department to employee, it is one to many. The reason is under one single department, multiple employees can work. Right. So that is one to many. Cardinality, one department to multiple employees. Here so far, so one student can have how many subjects? Multiple. One to many. Multiple. And one subject can be studied by multiple students or only single student? Multiple students. From when we look at subject to student, it will be other way, many to one. Okay. One subject. Sorry, it is also one to Okay. Here guys. Guess clear? Yes. So we'll start we'll start discussing each and uh, everything in detail. So what I'll say, what I'll take a relation like, I'll use person table, I'll use password database table. Okay. I'll passport ID, passport ID, and passport number. 
and so password id one password id three four four so one 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 two 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 three 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 four 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 so this is my password data and when it comes to person person id and then passport id i'll link here so basically This is my password data. So what will say password one, two, three, four. A name A B C B C D C D E D E F. And I link these passport IDs. So let's suppose A B C passport uh, the person with the name A B C having passport ID as four 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 four. Then I link passport ID instead of passport number. So because these are two different databases. Two different sources, so I link four here. So what is ABC passport number? Four 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 four. What is a person CD passport number? Person CD passport number? Three 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 three. three, three, three. Based on passport ID, we will fetch that information. So this way, data is available, and this kind of relation treated as. One to one. Okay. Relationships, person and passport. Okay, one to one relation. Now try to load this in Power BI. I'm choosing get data option. Excel book I'm choosing. The relationship file I'm opening. I'm choosing two sheets, person and passport. I'm loading directly. So as soon as we load the data, where it will be available, where it will be available for us to view. So these two data view and model view are two power or two power pivot components. So I'm going to data view. Under data view, I'll be able to see my loaded data, passport data. After that, person data. I'm going to model view. So, any relation uh, created here? No relation created because there are no common columns. Also, like uh, passport ID is the name of the column in person table. Only simple PID is the name of the column in passport table. But we know which two columns are related. Which two columns are related? Passport yes. ID. Passport ID and PID. PID. These two are related. And what is the way to create? Either we can go to manage relationship. Under manage relationships, choose new option. So select the first table, which is passport uh, person table. From in the person table, select the passport ID column. In the passport uh, table, in the below, select PID. And it is defining what kind of cardinality. But automatically. Power BI detected one-to-one -one cardinality between these two columns of these two tables. Okay, I'm clicking on OK. Close. See what direction it is showing is one-to-one, -one, two sides. Observe the arrow mark. Observe the arrow mark, guys. Arrow mark having how many directions? Both ways. It means. One to one relationship is applicable from passport to person or person to passport. Clear? Is clear? Yes. Okay. No. Uh, so here, this cardinality direction, I'm double clicking on the data relation. I'm, this window opened. See here, cross filter direction. We are having one additional section called cross filter direction. And possible options are single and both. As of now, by default, both is selected. What does it mean? You can filter person data based on passport number, which is of passport to person direction. Or you can filter passport data based on person ID. 
which is from person to passport. That's the meaning. Cross filter direction. So in one to one and one to many, you cannot know. I mean, we will not notice any difference. But in case of many to many, we will notice much difference with uh, um, cross filter direction. So for now, try to understand this cardinality part. I hope everyone is clear with this cardinality part. Cardinality is nothing but relationship type between person and passport, on passport column, and PID column. We are having one to one cardinality. Okay. Now go to power view. In the power view, you can take a table. In the table, you can get person name from person table and passport number from passport table. And here, passport number, do not sum, do not summarize. That's all. So this property, the column in the table uh, visual, I have selected passport number. I selected do not summarize. If I, by default, it is sum. No, it is not meaningful to sum uh, all the numbers of passports, right? It is not that way. It is not the sale information to sum up. That's why I went to this passport field. I am selecting option as don't summarize. So no sum will come here. And for person, I can choose count. So there are total four persons. But see here. As we choose and count for this passport, what is the count? One person count. I'm selecting do not summarize. Clear this? This way, with two sources, with one common column, passport ID and passport number, with having cardinality one to one, and cross filter direction is both. You can filter. You can filter passport by person or you can filter person by passport number. Both are possible. Okay. So this is basic one-to-one -one cardinality. Yes. I'm going to my Excel file. I'm creating one more thing. The standard employee and department. Here, guys, in this visual, you are seeing just one to one. One person having one passport, another person having another passport. That's all. This way. Okay. And EMP ID, EMP name, department. One, two, three, four, five G, five G X, QR, RST. These names I'm taking. So here, department ID, department name, So here I'll give production for first two records. I'll give sales for second record. Three, four, two, four. Tell me, guys, how many people are there working in the purchase department? And what are those names? What are the name of those employees from this data? Two A B C D E F. A, B, C, and D, E, F. These two persons are working for purchase department as per this department ID. Okay. This one is employee. This one is department. I'm loading the same. I'm going to transform data. I'm choosing new query, left side. choosing Excel workbook and choosing same relationship file. I have saved my data so I'll be able to see employee and department uh, sheets here. I'm selecting both. So employee and department are loaded. I'm simply going and closing an apply. So here in our if I go to model view we'll be able to see two other Entities created here. 
series here automatically power bi detected auto detected relation between department and employee what kind of relation guys it is one to many one to many one to many and what is the direction from department to employee from department to employee so i'll double click on that relation and see here it is from employee to department what kind of relation it is here department to employee it is one to many from employee to department many to one many to one many to one why yeah department id is in department id in the employee table can repeat when multi occurred multi occurred value department id is a multi occurred value in employee table but whereas that multi occurred value will have only single occurrence in the department table see here first see three sample entries one one whereas we have data like four departments and as well as uh, seven employees but in the relationship window <coughs> power bi showing us only top three records the top three sample records see here in the employee table under department column we are having department id repeated that is nothing but multiple occurrences multi occurrences on the same department id will have only single occurrence in the department table that's why it is many to one okay and see here cross filter direction is only single if i choose both see here the symbol will change as soon as i click on okay see here clear i'm keeping this one as default one as of now single and i'm going to my visual pane power view so here department wise employee count i want to see so what do we need department name available in the department table and employee count is available in under employee table and both are related on the, on the basis of which column department, department id, ID. department id column and what kind of cardinality from department to employee what is the cardinality nothing but related. one too many one too many from department to employee and from employee to department what cardinality it is many to one perfect many to one so sorry yes report choosing this here i'll select employee so i'll select department name of that employee count you see under production we are having two employees under purchase department we are having two employees under sales department we are having we are having two employees under admin department we are having only one employee so this information i am able to fetch through combining department name from department table employee count from employee table clear guys and both tables are related on the basis of common column department id and the cardinality between them is one to many from department to employee it is one to many from employee to department is many to one we do not see much difference with that uh, um, cross filter direction guys with one to many and one to one we will notice that difference only with many to many which way we can filter our data okay so now clear with this is yes it's clear okay perfect thanks now i'm going here i have prepared one file guys uh many to many one student can opt for how many courses guys we are having three courses here and one student can opt for how many courses more than one right one student can opt multiple courses and one course can be opted by multiple students get me point guys it is like subject and student i'll say student id see here i'm having three students here a b c b c d d e f and courses as sql msba power bi i'm having three courses so in general one course can be opted by multiple students is my statement clear yes one course can be opted by multiple student and 
one student can opt to multiple courses. Is this also true? Clear? One student can opt multiple courses. The same design I have given through this table. There is a third table in our file. These are, these are course names and these are student names. And look at this table and tell me guys, take five minutes time, not five minutes, just take 60 seconds time. I'll ask questions on this table. <clears throat> I'll also changing the names here. Take 60 seconds time from now. I'll ask my questions at 627, 30 seconds. Understand? Guys, my question is, how many courses student BCD opted and what are the names of the courses? The student BCD opted how many courses and what are the names of those courses? SQL Power BI. SQL Power BI. How are you telling that? MSBA. Student number two, I have asked. Student number two, the student number two, in the student column, student number two, opted for which courses? One and three. And courses one and three, in the course table, one is SQL and three is Power BI. Yes. Clear with this? Clear with this? No. Yes, sir. Please explain one time. One and yeah. three. See, this is a color course I'm doing this way. So these are the color codes I have given. Student 2 opted which courses? 1 and 3. And course 1 is SQL and course 3 is Power BI. Okay. Okay. And here course 1, what is course 1? MSS, sorry, SQL. And what is course two? It is MSBA. This way. And student one. And student one opted how many courses? This three courses. Three courses. All the three courses. All the three courses. What are the names? What are the names? One, two, three. Why scale MSB power bay and uh, student number I'll give one statement. Till your answer is true or false. St st student with the name DEF opted two courses. Student two SQL and one. Student with the name DEF opted three two courses. True or false? One, one false. Time. Why? Answer. They opted only power BF student uh, have opted only one power BA. Yeah. Student DEF whose ID is three. And that guy opted only one course. And what's the name of the course? Power BA. Power, power BA. BA. So what is this table, guys? What is this table? This table telling us how many students opted how many courses and reverse way as well. One student opted how many courses and one course got opted by how many students? The scenario that we have discussed earlier, one course can be opted by multiple students. One student can opt multiple courses. 
and that information we have to maintain through some other table which is called as bridging table bridge table we used to call this table as bridge table guys which is forming a relation between your courses and student table it is bridging relation between your student and courses table now tell me from courses to from courses table to this bridge table what is the relation cardinality on the course id many to many many to many no one to many from the course table from the course table to this bridge table in the course table we are having course id occurring occurring how many times one time or more than one one, one time more. one time one, one. 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 and the same one course is occurring how many times in the bridge table multiple times more than one time more than once now what is the relation what is the cardinality between course and bridge table one to many <coughs> that and same is the case with student same is the case with student same is the case with student so from student to bridge table what is the relation This is also one to many. One to many. And what column? And what columns? Based what on the com? student table. Student table. Perfect. From student table to bridge table, what is the cardinality? I mean, what is the common column which defines cardinality? Student ID and student ID. And from course between courses and bridge table, what are the common columns? Course ID. Course ID. Course ID. Clear? Clear, guys. Yes. Yes. So many to many cannot be achieved with a single table, guys. We have to form, we have to form a bridge table, and bridge table will bridge relation between two different tables like this, from this table and this table. This way, uh, I'll insert direction, uh, shape on the student. And the student, so yes, and the student ID. It is one to many. Here one, here many. It's one to many. From courses to, from courses to bridge table, it is. many one to many from course side it is one and bridge table side is many one to many so here one student having multiple courses one course having multiple students one two three so i'll ask you and student number 1 having opted how many courses here student number 1 3 three course three courses sir Okay, and course three, course power B opted by how many students? Three, three students. Three students. Who are those? One, two, three student. One, no. two, three. Three. Here, three. This is course color code three, three, three. Okay. Student one, student two, student three. And what kind of relation it is from student to course in the bridge table? Many to many. Many to one. Many to many. One student opting multiple courses, and one courses opted by multiple students. Get me point, guys. Guys, try to understand. We are having two different tables, and in, as a general scenario, we understand that one student can opt multiple courses. and one course can be opted by multiple students so to establish that kind of relation we have created a bridge table this way in the bridge table we have created our data such a way that whatever things that we have discussed one student can opt multiple courses one course can be opted by multiple students this way okay clear guys this way we have achieved many to many between student and course Okay. See here, one single student, multi-occurring, 
in the bridge table. One single course is multi occurring in bridge table. And what is it is many to many. Clear? I'm removing this. Yes, clear, right? Clear. Yes. I'm removing this content here. Because I have to load the same to uh, Power BI, right? So I'm removing all the content here. So I'm choosing many to many. Huh? I'm choosing courses, students, student versus courses. I'm directly loading them. See, guys, in the transformation window, you can transform the data if required. See, you know, right, I have already shown you. Instead of uh, these 111222, you can match these tables and uh, you can have the student names and courses ID instead of IDs. Guys, I hope you people are remember, uh, you people remember that concept. You can simply go to transform data, where you can choose the student course and you can option, I can choose option match queries, match query as new. And you can match, first student table you can match on student ID and student ID. And left outer join is a default match option. And you can choose an, as soon as you click on OK, you get a result like this with the table. On the table you select, at the end you will get a new table will be added as part of match result. And the particular student data will be appended uh, to the end of this, your uh, bridge table and go to that particular table, expand the columns. So student names came. So you can retain, you can delete the student ID columns now. Now, which is match one. And you can, you need now, you need what? Course names you need. So this match one result needs to be measured with courses table to get the course names. Because we are having course IDs in the match result. We, re, we have received only student names as of now. And again, Go to match queries, match query as new. In this window, you choose match one result, which is match one result, which is having student name, but course ID. You join with course ID and select common column and click on OK. And here courses table will be appended at the end of your second match result. Here you open them and course names also came. Again, yes, do course IDs. And remove course IDs. Sorry. Course ID. And I can un I can enable load. I'll turn off enable load on all the tables and I'll enable load only on Medji2 result. I load this data directly to my which one guys? My result. My power oh. pivot. Okay. But I'm not doing all these things because our requirement can vary. But we have these many options to transform our data, but our requirement is different. In the current context, in the Power Pivot, we are having this kind of data available with us. Okay. So I'm not uh, saving these things. Eh? Okay. So I'm retaining what are the things that we are having in our source file as is, which is nothing but course table, student table, and bridge table. Okay, this way. Guys, I hope you people are clear the way I have shown you how to measure the result and get the student names and courses IDs instead of uh, maintaining IDs here. Clear? Now, Student courses, student versus courses are the three new tables which are imported to Power Pivot. And if I go to my model view, I can see three more tables. And now see what is the relation, what kind of the relation that we have here. One to many, one to many. From courses to student versus courses. What is the relation, relation type? What is the cardinality? on the course id column from courses to student versus courses it is one to star that is one to many from the student table to courses table sorry from the student table to 
bridge table on the which column on the student id column on the student id column what is the cardinality guys one to many and see here guys through this bridge table courses and students are linked in which manner on the bridge table and the both sides what is the kind of what is the kind of cardinality we are seeing guys one to many one to many see here from the course side is one to many which is not even many and here many many so your student your bridge table having many to one with bridge table to students and many to one with bridge table to courses which is other way many to many we can achieve many to many using a bridge table clear now with this data i want to have information like course id 1 having course id 1 having student count as 2 course id 2 having student count as what is the student count course id 2 having how many students opted by how many students guys guys following me only one hmm that's all so here student one opted sorry course id one opted by two students so i have given count as two and course one course two opted by how many students one only one student one and course 3 opted by how many students three three students okay now what is course 1 name course 1 sql 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 what is course sorry this one yes what is course 2 name msba msba what is third course name power 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 okay this kind of report i want to see msba two people SQL two people, one one guy. Power BI three people. So this is one kind of report, one kind of model, or one kind of orientation. The data, course wise, student count. Can I call this one as course wise student count, guys? Can I call this as course wise student count? Yes, sir. Perfect. Yes. Course wise student count. course wise student count now what i want to say student wise course count i want to say student wise course count so i am having i am having students like 1 2 3 now tell me student one opted how many courses three courses sir perfect what is the name of student one a b c mm -hmm. what else say this course name count student count and this one student name and this is course count hmm a b c sorry a b c b c d d e f okay a b c b c d d e f oh. how many courses student one a b c opted three course three courses hmm. and two is Oh, two courses. Mm, two courses. And, and three. Four, only one. Okay. Good. Perfect. Now, from the bridge table, we have arrived with this kind of aggregation. Aggregation in the sense insight. This is nothing but some insight from our data. Some insight. Now, I'll ask you. 
what kind of insight from which direction it is flowing from courses to student count can i say that way course wise student count so what is the beginning thing here course course wise student count student count perfect now this one student wise course count student wise or course count perfect how many tables we are having here these are insights these are not tables in our example how many tables we have three three tables perfect what are those one course ko one course table one is student and one is bridge table student course side bridge table we we'll call this one as bridge table so we are having three tables and by flowing data from course to your student how are you flowing from course to student how we have to flow we are not having any direct relation between course and student here we have to flow our data from courses to student via our bridge table try to understand guys i have created an insight manually using the bridge table this way and you people are clear what is first insight course wise student count so how how i have to achieve that i know course information available in course table so for each course what is the student count and the student available in this table and the bridge table is the one which bridges relation between my course to student so your first insight flowing from which table to which table and via what table your first insight course wise student count is flowing from which direction from uh, course to bridge table to, uh, to student table course to student table via bridge table okay okay now the second insight the second insight which is student wise course count sorry guys student wise course count it is flowing from student to course table data via your bridge table clear guys yes sir perfect now we are having that related data loaded here already and now we we'll try to achieve sorry i'm going to my model view now check the relation between course and bridge i'm checking on course and bridge and it is highlighting course id as a common column between my bridge table and the course table and it is many to one cardinality from bridge to my course table and see here guys what is the direction cross filter direction it is mentioned here as single just note this point and go to the second relation which is between student bridge between student and bridge table and double clicking here and from student course sorry in the bridge and <coughs> student table student id is a common column and it is many to one from bridge table to student bridge table contain multiple students and one that student will have single occurrence in the student table which is many to one and the cross filter direction is only single they selected by default and clicking cancel and go to your report view here try to draw try to get this kind of information course wise student count course name and student count okay what i am doing i am taking a table to this table what is the first thing first insight guys course wise student count so course name available in the courses table and student count available in which table guys student table student table so now i am selecting course name here what are the course names the msba power bi sql ke now i am dragging and dropping student id because i need see here student id the way our bridge table containing our information the same way student id is came see here student id is 
student id 1 msbi student id 1 power bi student id 1 sql power bi student id 2 power bi student id 3 so this way now what i'll do to this student id i'll add count not the actual numbers now see guys mm one second i have selected course name from course table and student id from student table and instead of student id what i have mentioned take the count of students take the count of students and now my result came up this way i'll call i'll select this i'll go to formatting here title i'll turn on to this i'll give title as course wise student count i'm giving heading okay font size i'm increasing and for table also visual values i'll increase font size and header this header Mm. Okay. So course name and count of student. When we try to map two fields from two different tables, which are connected by a bridge table, those are course and student table are connected by a bridge table. If I want to see data like course from course, which course contains how many students? If I want to see what I'm getting here, total count as three. And MSBA three, Power BI three, SQL three, which is incorrect because actually my MSBA containing two students, SQL containing only one student, Power BI containing only Power BI containing three students. But whereas it is showing three three three, which is correct or incorrect? Incorrect. That is incorrect. Incorrect. Okay. Now go to your model. So from course to student, we are looking at the data right now. So course to student, from course to student. So this relation is a see course relation, right? Course and student. So go to the relation and cross filter direction from when we try to filter based on course instead of single, put both and see whether it affects anything in your uh, view. See now here it is bidirectional. Course is to bridge, bridge to course. See this direction got changed. Now go here. Any change in your visual? No. no. Go there. so because we want to filter we want to filter the student data right go to this relation from the bridge table to student and give both to cross filter direction as both click on okay and now see here we are having bi directional and go here how now see able to see the difference yes yes sir so now go to again model remove this courses uh, thing to single Re You won't see any difference. You are having only single direction courses to bridge table, and from bridge table to student, it is bi-directional, the filtering thing. And go to your visual, perfect. You are having whatever insight that you want to look at. MSBI two, MSBI course one opted by two. Okay, Power BI three, perfect. SQL one. It got altered, right? Values are not properly reflected. So, what is the data which is available with us? Three one two three, two one two three three three, and your courses table MSBA is two, and in the bits table. MSBI two occurring only once, right? By student only one. See guys, here as per this data, the course ID two, course ID two, which is MSBI, MSBI is having. It is uh, we have given we have uh, written wrong description. Yes, it is. 
here two is msbi so two is msbi and two is opted by only one student and even our visual telling same thing msbi opted by only one student <coughs> clear guys here i have got like mistaken and you people also mistaken guys clear about the correction i made here yes sir everything clear right the student uh, course id 2 is msbi 1 and msbi opted by only one student as per our bits table and the same is reflected here okay what we did from courses to student we are flowing our uh, data relation so in the model we have enabled the direction of filtering to both sides not a single side earlier it was like single side which is nothing but from single side which is nothing but from student to bridge table now what we did we have changed that cross filtering direction to both sides which is from both student to bridge table and bridge table to student after filtering our data in such way i mean after changing our filter to both and we are able to see correct data here clear when we use our bridge table in the many 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 to many uh, cardinality we have to make sure these filter directions are applied properly now i am coming back to my second visual second insight i am taking one more table okay to this table now what i am wanted to look at what is my second insight student wise course count yes, and student name i am choosing as a first column and course count i want to choose as the second column to this table and here course id i want to add as a count one course column as a count i'm seeing how many uh, rows guys here i can i can do format painting also i mean if a visual already having some styling i can select that visual i can copy that format and i can apply it to the other visual see here formatting done now three students came a b c b c d d e f with the courses numbers as 3 3 3 which is incorrect because student a b c opted three courses b c d opted two courses d e f opted only one course so from which direction we are looking at this says go this go to your visual write a title as student wise courses count from which table to which table uh, you are flowing your uh, data guys you are looking student student uh, and to on the basis of student we are trying to get count of courses that is nothing but student to course table via your bridge table student wise course count student to course table via your bridge table so now this relation from bridge table to your courses you change this one to both the cross filter direction you change it to both and see here now it got reflected correctly you remember uh, you ignore about the total so i'll remove um, total doesn't require right let it be not problem now abc opted for three courses bcd opted two courses d of opted one course clear guys so this way you have to model your relations between your tables so what i told you earlier power pivot allows you to detect existing relations create relationships manually and modeling your data what we did we have modeled our cardinalities between main table to bridge table and main bridge table to another main table this way and we have updated cross filter condition cross filter direction it has to both ways when i try to filter course information based on student it has to allow and when i try to filter student information based on the course this way student in student in student information based on the course name or course information or course count based on the student name either way it has to allow me that's why i have cha- i have changed my relationship between bridge table to other tables as cross filter direction as both is clear how many to many works here everyone if you have a bridge table because we deal with uh, this kind of relations when we uh, choose our source as a database not a excel file we do not get data in excel file in this format in this format we do not get data from excel file excel file will contain 
summarized data directly. Instead of student IDs and course IDs, we'll get a summarized simple data. Student ABC course SQL like that. But this example, I have explained here. The reason is we'll also use database as one of the source like this uh, here. See here. Instead of Excel, we use SQL Server as well. And SQL Server is a RDBMS system, which is nothing but relational database management system, which maintains data in multiple tables by maintaining relations among them. So this is one such example. We are having two tables, courses and students, and the relation between those two tables maintained via bridge table like this. Clear, guys? This is example of some SQL Server database tables which I have taken in the form of a Excel file. Clear guys? When we get such kind of data, how to model your relation to make sure your data gets filtered the way that you wanted to look at in the visual, the way you wanted to design or generate your reports. Clear guys? Guys clear? Yeah. Yes, sir. So I'm deleting this. I'm creating two more. Uh, just give me five to ten minutes, guys. Yeah? I'll explain one more example here. Yeah? So this is like when we load data from the database tables directly from any RDBMS system, we will have data in the form of relations like this. Based on these relations, we are uh, based on our need, we have to define the flow of data, the flow of the relation between the flow of filter, filtering data. The filter flow we have to define either single or both. Now, what I'll do, I'll create a direct Excel example where, uh, mm, okay, I'm having a form. Um, um, sales. I'm having a business, yes, some X business. I'm having some X business operating in these three cities. Mumbai, Delhi, sorry, five cities, Bangalore, Tane. Tane, I'm right. So here I'm choosing, um, okay. Mumbai. Not taking year also here. Sales as sales in lakhs, I'll say. Not 10 lakhs, uh, 15 lakhs, 18, 12, 13, and 19. 19 lakhs. Okay, this way I'm having sales information. And I'm having expenditure information. And this can be like salaries or office maintenance, anything. I'll say so three, four, six, four, and I is like uh, five, and I seven, one, max. This way I'm having my data. So here, what is the common column, guys, between these two sources, sales and uh, expenditure? Location. Perfect. Location is a common thing, common column. Okay. Now, I'm going to Power BI. I'm loading using Excel workbook option. I'm choosing save menu to money. I'm choosing expenditures and sales information. I'm directly loading. As soon as the data gets loaded, you will see the two tables added here. Expenditure and sales added in the model view. What is the relation, guys? Sales. What is the relation? Oh. As per existing data, oh. relation formed between expenditure and sales table on the location column. As per existing data, your location is getting repeated only once in both the sites. That's why it has taken one to one. Now what I'll do, I'll simply 
add here yeah Herbert header right so this way land 14 land 17 11 12 18 Let's say 2022, 2023, this is the year. So, so here I'll do the same thing. Bombay Delhi Delhi Haka. So for the two years, 22, 23, 22, 23, 22, 23, 22, 23, in this I'll remove. Okay. So this way I'll have year wise expenditure reduced 6 and 1. So I'm having year wise, location wise expenditure, year wise, location wise sales information. And I'm simply refreshing. I'm saving data here. I'm simply refreshing here. After refreshing, see the type. What happens? What thing? An unexpected exception occurred. Load it was cancelled. Oily DB. Okay. I'll See, as it is found already a one-to-one -one relationship, it is not allowing me to refresh my data. What I'll do, I'll simply re remove that relation. I'll try to re refresh and see what happens. Now, if I drag and drop, I'm having year column also added in my model. If I drag and drop location to location between sales and expenditure, what's saying? Many to many cardinality. Many to many cardinality. By default, it has chosen on the location column between expenditure and sales columns in the relationship table. So, in the relationship window, it is automatically choosing many to many. Loaded many to many. Okay. Now, see here, guys. What are the options we are seeing in the cross filter direction? Both. Both. Both and two times singles we are seeing. And what what kind of single that is? Single sales filters expenditure or expenditure filters sales. Let it be sales filters expenditure. I'll click on OK. Start one and see here the filter symbol. Sales filters expenditure. Okay. Sales filter. What is the relation? It is star to star. That is many to many. And if I double click and what is the cross filter direction I've chosen? Single, which is from sales to expenditure sales to expenditure let's go to your power view and see the difference in the power view try to add a graph in this graph i wanted to see sales versus expenditure for the location on yearly year basis sales versus so what are those sales table and expenditure table and here for the location from the say I'm taking location from sales table and sales so well well and good so in this graph from the sales table I have taken location and sales I have taken location and sales 
and what is showing it's showing me data amravati if i focus what is total sum guys 37 amravati if i sum up sales information of these two years what is the sum 19 plus 18 37 so it is showing that 37 value and what i'll do i'll go here on the y-axis on the values i'll increase the font and on the x-axis i'll increase the font okay for now i'll remove uh, these visuals yes for space due to space constraint okay and values also i'm trying to display um, go to formatting and columns column color is okay labels data labels i have turned on under data tables data labels i'll position inside and values font i'll increase this way okay now see guys what is this tell trying to tell location wise sales information amravati 37 that is correct chennai 25 which is chennai chennai is 25 bangalore 23 this way clear with this guys clear with this guys able to hear me guys clear with yeah, this we, we are able to hear you okay so uh, what i did i have simply taken location and sales information from the sales table and i have prepared this graph now i want to compare sales versus expenditure for the same location in the same graph but my expenditure information is available in another table with the name expenditure and i'm having relation between the sales and the expenditure table as a many to many many to many on the location column and the cardinality is many to many and the class filter direction that i have selected is sales filters expenditure sales to expenditure that's the flow now here i want to add expenditure information as well i'm choosing expenditure that's all simply existing as of now existing graph my existing graph containing location and sales this way i am choosing expenditure see here guys guys i am going to the format i'll change this one to clustered ones instead of a single bar now see here guys why we are seeing value three we are seeing uh, go to your table expenditure table in the expenditure table for Hyderabad location, what is the value of expenditure? Guys, what is the sum of expenditure in lakhs? Five. 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 Go to your Hyderabad. 21 is sales. Hyderabad, 21, 10 plus 11, 21 is the sales. And expenditure is five, which is perfectly showing. No issue at all. Because you have chosen location from your key column is location and you have chosen location from which table sales table and you have tried to add sales from sales table like expenditure from expenditure table and location is a key column with the many to many cardinality between expenditure and sales and as we have chosen location from sales table and the relation between these two is like the cross filter direction is sales filters expenditure so when you try to look at sales and expenditure information with the common column location taken from sales table then sales data can filter expenditure table perfectly and clearly what if the cash filter condition is like this expenditure filter sales and click on okay and go to your visual gone your location and sales are coming properly Location is Amravati, sales is 37, Delhi 35, Mumbai 29, perfectly coming. But the expenditure bar is showing incorrect values. Earlier for Hyderabad, your expenditure value was showing as shown as 5. But now it is showing as 48. Why? It has taken total sum of expenditure. The, see, total sum of expenditure of all the locations, 48. It is incorrectly showing. What's the reason? We are having many to many cardinality between expenditure and sales tables on the column location 
and when we try to use different fields from these two different tables which are having many to many cardinality and if you choose that common column from many from other table then your cross filter direction must be either both or the table which has chosen the common column which is location from that table to other table the cross filter direction must be either of two either both or from student filters sorry sales filters expenditure clear guys yes, yes. Sir. okay now keep this one aside keep this one aside now i'll take one more graph so far what i did i have taken location from sales table now i'll take location from expenditure table. i'll take expenditure from expenditure table perfect not i'll say i'll choose this one format painter i'll apply formatting so all styling will come as is the only styling formatting that means chennai is 13 lakh expenditure Ch delhi having 11 lakh expenditure every day. very good what is the common column guys here Ex between expenditure and location what is common column here between expenditure and sales table location is, and what cardinality it has what kind of cardinality it has? One to many. Many to many. Many to many. And we have taken that common column from which table right now? Expenditure. Expenditure uh, table. Expenditure table. We have taken that location column. Now, what is the uh, type of filtering we have? Expenditure filter sales. Sorry. Um, what is the direction? Expenditure filters sales. Okay, so when you choose common column from expenditure table in the view, this way, then see the sales information I'm adding. Perfect. Sales and expenditure coming correctly. But this report is not working with this cardinality. With this cardinality. Expenditure to filter. Expenditure to filter sales. If I choose this cardinality, so this cross filter direction, then when you take the visual which is having the common column taken from the expenditure table from expenditure to sales it filters data perfectly and showing correct data but other visual whereas we have taken location from sales table and we are having relation between expenditure and the sales table as this way the filter is different expenditure to sales if it if we if i choose sales filters expenditure then my first report will work perfectly and second report will fail See here, all 170s are getting shown. All 170s are of sales value. Sorry. Or sales values, which is taking all the sum of sum of all sales of all values, 170 this way. So now tell me what is the correct class filter direction I have to use here to have both the reports working. Sales to expenditure, expenditure to sales, or both. If I choose both and go to my power view, both reports are working fine. This is sales versus expenditure. This is expenditure versus sales. When you look at data of any location, everything looks good. So I'm sorting data based on name, Amravati, Hyderabad, this way. See, Amravati 37 and this value is 3 expenditure value see so in amravati expenditure is 37 and so expenditure is 3 and sales is 37 35 11 for delhi where is delhi delhi 35 11 this is sales versus expenditure this is expenditure versus sales that's all guys clear guys not now you people are clear when we get the data in this format in the excel form may which is having many to many cardinality between them then we have to be more cautious in choosing cross filter direction because we are we may have requirements like building these kind of visuals by choosing different different fields from different different uh, tables which are having many to many cardinality so it all depends from which the common column you are choosing from which table based on that common column chosen from which table that kind of cross filter direction you have choose here and if you use the filtering on the common column from the board directions in one report in one visual you have taken from sales table common column location you have taken from sales table and in another visual you have taken 
common column location from expenditure table. In such cases, the particular relation between those two many to many cardinality tables must be defined with a class filter direction as both. So which works? In both the directions. See here, both the directions. Yes, clear? You yes, clear? Sir. Perfect. This is many to many, guys. We have seen two examples of many to many, like one with the bridge table, which is loading from database, like uh, which is loading in the sense, uh, which is a regular example of RDBMS scenario, RDBMS example. And this is Excel example. I mean, in Excel, we can have aggregated data, like descriptive data like this. And when we connect to databases, we will have data in this uh, related format in the, in the with the relations because RDBMS maintains all the tables data with the relations. Okay. Class filter direction is an important thing. You have to understand this. Based on, in the visual, which particular tables, common column you have chosen. Based on that, you have to define this direction. If you have chosen location from sales, then you have to filter sales filters other table data. Or if you have taken location from expenditure table in the visual, then you have to mention expenditure filter sales data. Or if you are having multiple visuals where you use, uh, in one visual you use location from expenditure and in another visual you use location from sales, then you better to opt both options so that your visual data will be correct always. Clear guys? Yes, clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Then you are going to get all the details tonight in our drive. Okay, guys? I request everyone practice it very seriously. If you practice this particular concept, whenever you are having full control like understanding, then only you will be able to absorb all the understanding and all the learning. Okay. I'll upload all the details as soon as possible. Do practice this one, the relation part, mainly the class filter direction part. Okay. And if you have any further queries, when you practice, then let me know in the next session. I'll clarify. Thank you guys. Meet you in the next session. If no one having any query. Okay.